Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at uh, a new PlayStation 4 controller that I picked up. There are a few videos out there, but um, as I picked it up, I thought I'd share this unboxing and things. Uh, if you're watching this, this is probably on a Sunday. Every Sunday, I try and do a non-Warhammer related video. That can be anything to do with motorbikes, video games, knives, or electronics. In this case, it's electronics and sort of video game uh, related. So it's coming in this package. Uh, I picked it up quite a decent price. I think it's like £36, £37. There are a couple out there that are kind of £42 or so. Um, so yeah, generally PlayStation 4 uh, controllers are more expensive than the, than the Xbox One controllers. I think uh, the main reason uh, being that uh, instead of AA batteries, they've got the built-in sort of lithium-ion battery, which they have to take into account, and also the touchpad on the front, and it has uh, you know the, the lights and things on the on the faceplate and on the front. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why they are a bit more. But basically, I've seen sort of Xbox One controllers for about thirty-five pounds or so. So for this to be a pound or two pound more than one of those um, really was a no-brainer for me to pick up. I needed a, a new PlayStation Four controller anyway. So this is the Gran Turismo uh, Sport controller. Um, I think you could get this bundled in with the game uh, when it was first released. I think it was like the collector's edition or something, and I think you got a art book as well. So this is what it looks like. Uh, nice looking controller, got the silver on the front and the black on the reverse. And uh, carrying on with the car theme, thought I'd use my carbon fiber uh, knife here. comes in this uh, sort of tray that you open, <clears throat> pull out, and there you go. Quite strange, quite, quite odd that it's just in there kind of loose, uh, I suppose. No, um, no bag that you normally get these things in. So there you go. And it says little instruction manual. Do we really need that? So this is a DualShock 4. There's no difference with this uh, than the normal DualShock 4 that they changed. I think they changed it for the new PlayStation 4 consoles when they updated it to the Slim and the Pro. The light bar is even more sort of annoyingly and um, slightly on the front. And of course it's, it's on the face of it as well. And they changed the color of the thumbsticks. I think they were black and they are now like the kind of original kind of grey. Uh, the difference with this one is they don't have the coloration for the triangle, square, X and circle buttons. Um, and the touchpad, it doesn't have these little uh, dots, if you can see that on it. Um, it has these little silver dots that are kind of same color as the controller, um, but they serve no function, um, really. I think in some games you can click that for the menu and that for something else, but uh, other than the, the little dimples, it's got the GT logo on. Um, I've been really enjoying Gran Turismo at the moment. More than fours are seven, actually. They both look fantastic, but just the handling and the realism of, of the Gran Turismo game. Another little uh, gem of a game I've been playing is Dirt 4. Uh, I was late to the party for that one, and I've really been enjoying that on the, the Xbox One. That's the controller. Uh, you've got these kind of grip dimples on the back. Uh, no difference to the, the other controller, though. Um, the same triggers, the same options and share buttons, same excellent D-pad and the PlayStation Home button. Thumbsticks are great. The battery life is mm, it's all right, I suppose, but you can at least play it while it's uh, charging. You will need a, a micro or sort of USB cable though. It doesn't come with it, which is a damn shame. And I think they all should come with it, especially given these are what normally 40, 45 pounds or so. I think they all should, should come with those cables because they're pretty easy to uh, sort of lose. But yeah, fantastic controller, great in the uh, sort of silver and the black. And I really wish uh, Sony would bring out m lots more colors in these. I mean, you know, the uh, Xbox One, you can sort of design your own. I know it's it's extremely expensive doing that, um, but at least they give you that, that option. Anyway, that is my unboxing and first look at the Gran Turismo limited edition 
PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. If you have enjoyed this video, please do comment, rate and subscribe. It really does help me out and motivates me to make uh, more unboxing and review videos in the future. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.